Let's get cooking in Izzy's Marvellous Marrow. With Shane the Chef. Ah, there we are, all nice and clean, ready for the county show. I can't wait. Oh, I really hope my marrow wins the best vegetable competition. Morning, you two. Oh, <laughs> look out, it's a talking turnip. <laughs> oh, there you go. Turnips, carrots and sweet. Enough to feed everyone at the show. <laughs> and perfect for my very veggie stew. How's my marrow looking, Maggie? Same as yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that. Oh, you've spent so much time looking after that marrow, I thought you were going to move in. <laughs> Fancy giving me a hand to get everything ready for the show? Can I, Dad? Yeah, of course, Izzy. Everything's under control here. Come on, then. Let's go. Bye. Let's get, uh, peeling. This is going to be a very long job. Morning, Shane. Wow, looks like someone's preparing for the Vegetable Olympics. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think this peeler's going to be winning a gold medal. Ooh, that gives me an idea. I'll be right back. Uh... Your raspberries look lovely, Maggie. Try one. Mmm, these are great. They'll win first prize for the best fruit for sure. As long as Jolly doesn't get to him first. <laughs> Show Jolly! Off you go! Get out! Get out of it! Come on! Dear me. Wow! Is that your pumpkin for the best vegetable competition? It's bigger than my marrow. Uh, maybe. But the judges will be looking at all kinds of things, Izzy. Hey, why don't you give it a last polish while I load up the van? Good idea. Come on, Marrow. You can grow. Uh. Ah, better get my skates on. No need for skates. Not with my magnificent pronto peeler. Sizzling saucepans. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what? Just pop your veggies in here and let the pronto peeler do the rest. Uh, OK. Well, <laughs> let's give it a go. To you, Eddie. What? Whoops! Hey, be careful. Oh, are you OK? Sorry, Izzy. <laughs> What's that? And why are you talking to it? It's my marrow. I'm trying to make it grow bigger in time for the show, but it doesn't seem to be working. What's a marrow? It's a vegetable, Mario. You know, my mama sometimes sings to her flowers to make them grow. We could try that. OK, let's give it a try. Oh, lovely marrow, please grow for Izzy. If she doesn't win a prize, she'll get in a tizzy. Mario. Pumpkin! Phew, that was close. Ah, uh, Eddie! OK, let's get pronto peeling. Ooh, it's working! <laughs> wow! There you go, what did I tell you? Come on, go on, try some more. OK! It's definitely getting more sunshine like this. But it's not getting any bigger. Are you sure marrows taste nice? I'd rather have a raspberry. Leave those alone! Hey, go on, get off, you naughty thing! Don't worry, Maggie. I'll get him. I'm the best goalie in town. Oh, watch it, Mario. Oh. Ah! Oh, watch out! Ouch! Oh, good save, Izzy! Time we were off to the show before my pumpkin ends up as mash. At this rate, we'll be done in no time. Brilliant! Oh dear! Is it supposed to be that loud? Oh, well, 
It probably just needs a tweak. Look out! My Mary looks like it has a good chance of winning. Oh, Mr. Singh started judging. Hmm? Oh! oh. got to now. He wanted to see my marrow being judged. Dad, Mr. Singh's about to judge my... Uh... It's okay, Izzy. Don't panic. Everything's under control. But your veggie stew. What are you going to feed everyone now? Don't worry, Izzy. I'll think of something. Whoa! Now that's what I call a mess. Izzy, Mr. Singh's about to judge your marrow. I know. I really wanted to see it, but I want to stay and help Dad. No, you go. I'll be fine. Oh. Dad, how are you supposed to feed everyone? Off you go, and good luck. <gasps> good colour. Even flesh. Lovely tone. I think he likes it. Yeah, but I really hope Dad's all right. The marrow! Go for the marrow! The marrow! That's it! Sorry, Mr oh. Singh, but I'm going to need this. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Izzy, let me help. Uh, it's going to take more than that to feed everyone. Will this help, Dad? I can't use your marrow. What about the competition? Uh, I changed my mind. Do you think you can make my marrow into something tasty? Hmm. I know just the thing. You need to get tweaking, JG. Let's get cooking! And tweaking! You did it. Hooray! Hooray! Congratulations! Hooray! Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. A pumpkin to be proud of. Oh, thanks. But what did Izzy want with her marrow? Roll up, roll up for Izzy's marvellous marrow spaghetti. With very veggie sauce. Marrow spaghetti? <laughs> oh, yes, it's easy. Just get your marrow. Chop it up and pop it through the spiralizer. <laughs> Shane, I didn't know you had a spiralizer. He didn't. Mm, well, not until I gave the pronto peel and a tweak. It makes great vegetable spaghetti. See? Oh, mm. oh, Shane, it's a delicious. Almost as good as Mama's pasta. Mario, what? I said almost. Hey, Sid. Sid. <clears throat> After some thought, I have decided that Izzy should share the first prize with Maggie for sharing her marrow with everyone. But what about your pumpkin? Oh, Izzy, I wouldn't have a pumpkin if you hadn't saved it from Mario's football skills. Hey, my ball skills are the best. Watch. Uh, look at this. What? What? Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, I've got it. Oh, <laughs> another good save, Izzy. Here you go, Mario. Enjoy. Maybe you're the best goalie in town, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario.
Let's get cooking in Cherry Tree Rescue. With Shay the Chef. There you go, boys. A tree full of cherries, a ladder and some baskets. Help yourselves. <laughs> oh, thanks, Maggie. There might just be enough cherries up there to make a delicious crumble for tonight. Well, it's a shame you can't help us pick them, Maggie. What are you up to today? JG said he'd help me fix the tuk-tuk. It broke down again. I'm sure you two can handle a few cherries. See you later. Bye, Maggie. Cheerio! Right, let's get this ladder up. Oh, ladder. Who needs a ladder? When you've climbed as many mountains as I have, a little old tree is nothing to worry about. Stand back, Shane. Let me show you how it's done. I'm showing you how to do it properly. Ugh. Watch out! What? Sorry. Hi, Izzy. Jay and I are having a kickabout on the square. Do you want to join in? I can't. I'm watching the restaurant while Dad's out cherry picking. Well, when he's back, you know where to find us. Mario! I need you to look after this shop. Your father's driving me to the farm to get some eggs. But, Mama... No buts, my boy. Oh, get to it. Pronto. Bye, Izzy. <sighs> <laughs> Ooh, your tuk-tuk doesn't sound well, does it? Hmm, I think the manifold valve needs recalibrating. I'd say you were right. It just needs a bit of a tweak. Are you sure you're OK, Sam? Oh, the, the, there aren't enough footholds. Oh. How about we try this ladder? Oh, uh, yeah, might be a good idea. After you, Sam. Right. Yes. Watch and learn. Oh. Yum. <laughs> Coming up, Shane. These cherries are delicious. <laughs> Don't eat too many, Sam. They're for the crumble. <gasps> Tickle my trawler. It's a long way down. Sam, you all right? Yes, yes. Quite all right. Good. Right then, I'm coming up too. Ah, oh, wow. Look at all those cherries. Oh, 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 no. Sizzling saucepans. Oh, it's higher than it looks up here. Whoa, we need to get down. I don't think I can. Neither can I. Help! That's it. Just a bit closer. Help! Hey, come back. Help! Help. What is that noise? Ooh. Ah, what's this? Ooh, it's all squishy. This doesn't seem at all right. Oh, Maggie, I think I've located the problem. I'll soon have it fixed. JG, you're holding my hand. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. Help, Sid! Up here! Shane? Sam? What are you doing up there? Oh, Sid. Are we glad to see you? We're stuck up this tree. Can you go and get Maggie? She's at the lighthouse. <laughs> you don't need Maggie. I've been climbing trees since I was a lad. Let me help. It's higher than it looks up here, Sid. Right. Let's get you boys down. You weren't kidding. It is higher than it looks up here. Nearly got it, Maggie. Right, fire her up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. Help! Oh, We're stuck. Oh, Mamma mia! Shane, Sam, Sid, what? Why? Oh. oh, it's a long story, Mama Polenta. We're stuck. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama will help. I'll get you down. No, oh, no, no! If I had a tomato for every time I've rescued Mario from a tree, I could make a lot of bruschetta. Whatever you do, don't look down. Why? Mamma mia! Oh, it's higher than it looks! Oh, dear! We tried to warn you. Oh! Well, this is silly. Look at us. Four grown-ups stuck up a tree. Reminds me of my sea voyages as a cabin boy. The captain would have me climbing right to the top of the mast. Didn't think twice about it. Oh, then you're just the man to climb down and get help. Yes, it was a long time ago. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll try. Oh. Ah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not looking down. Oh, don't look down, Sam. Don't look down. All right, we're down a bit. Down a bit. You're nearly there. Okay, okay. No, no, down a bit more. Can you stop saying down? No, <laughs> oh, that's torn it. Oh, now we're really stuck. Oh, come on, let me help you. I'd better phone Penny and tell her I'll be late home. You had your phone all this time? Of course. Where's yours? Yeah, it's in my scooter. Look, can you call Maggie for help? I suppose so. Hang on. Whoa! Oh, no, don't believe that. OK, we must have another phone up here. I'm sorry. I left mine in Alf's van. Oh. Sam, you're our last hope. Please tell me you got your phone with you. Sorry, Shane. It's charging on the Merry Mackerel. Uh, well, the only thing I have is this old walkie-talkie. I keep it for emergencies. Oh, you mean like being stuck up a tree? What? Oh, right. I showed you me. Good point. Oh, that should do it. Right. Fire her up. We did it, JJ. Jolly good. Nothing to it, really. I'll take it for a test drive. Good idea. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone receiving me? What was that? Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone what? receiving what? me? Over! Mayday! Mayday! S Sam? Is that you? This is Maggie. Hello, Maggie. This is Sam, receiving you loud and clear. Help, Maggie! Shane, are you OK? Yes, but we're all stuck up your cherry tree. Um... Sid and Mama Polenta are here too. What? Yeah, uh, it's a long story. Please help. Don't worry, I'm on my way. How did you all get stuck up there? <laughs> it's, it's much, much higher, higher than, than it looks. looks. Let's get you all down. You. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Don't tell me that ladder is an extender. Of course it is. Oh. Here we go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> ah, eh, oh. 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 Lovely ground. Oh, the green, green grass of home. Terra firma. Thank you. Woo! Thanks, Maggie. No problem, Shane. Oh, thanks, Maggie. What a day. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. It'll be worth it for the delicious cherry crumble that we're going to bake. Oh, you didn't pick a single cherry. Maybe leave it to an expert this time. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. There you are. You've been gone ages. Yeah, you'd be surprised how tricky cherry picking can be. I'll tell you all about it after we've made the cherry crumble. What do you need, Dad? OK, we need wholemeal flour, vegetable margarine, a little sugar, chopped almonds, and our lovely cherries. Let's get cooking. Look at that. Delicious cherry crumble. Back of the oven. Yay! Who's bought some delicious cherry crumble? With custard. Oh, oh come on. Here wait, we go. Oh, and yes. me. Hey, that's my phone. Well, look at that. May uh... think it's for you. Everyone's talking about my cherry crumble. Hello. Oh, no, I lost my phone. Well, no, I didn't lose it. It was stolen by a magpie. <laughs> no, he just dropped it back. Hear me crumble. Let's get cooking with Shane the Chef. Shane the Chef lives by the sea. In his restaurant with Izzy. Cooking up new recipes. Come on in, try and out see. Fixing the scary gadgets on the way.
Let's get cooking in Brilliant Burgers. With Shane the Chef. Hi, Mama Polenta. Buongiorno, Shane and Izzy. Good morning, Mama Polenta. Oh, that coffee smells amazing. I'm trying out some new coffee beans from Colombia. <laughs> Would you like to try some? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I'll need some minced beef too, please. I'm making burgers for Maggie's big barbecue later. That sounds tasty. <laughs> oh, and I'll need some burger buns. Here's your minced beef. The burger buns are just there. Hi, Izzy. Are you coming down to the farm to check out Maggie's new barbecue? Can I, Dad? Yes, no problem. I've got the burgers in hand. Maybe you could help with a salad at Maggie's later. Yes, yeah, sure. Thanks, Dad. See you later. Bye. Ooh, <laughs> always in a hurry. <laughs> Here you go, Shane. Thank you. Mmm, mmm, this coffee is delicious. Hey, what are you going to do with all those used coffee grounds? Oh, Maggie asked me to save them for her. I don't know why. So, what do you think? Mm. Ah, fantastic. Right, I've got to set and light the barbecue now. Oh, I could do that for you. And me? Oh, thanks. Well, if you're sure, I'll go and pick the rest of the salad. Great! Oh, that's brilliant, that is. Right, let's get those burgers made. Grab the mince, chop the spring onions, and mix. Oh, it's not even lit yet. Don't worry, we've got it under control. Plenty of oak to get the fire going. No, we need hickory wood for flavour. Applewood is good too. Good thinking. Oh, this could take a while. Let's play sardines while we wait. Sardines? Yes. I'll hide and then you come and look for me. If you find me, you hide with me too. Yeah. Uh, maybe later. Oh, OK then. This is where it goes. No, it needs to go here. Actually, I think it needs to be like this. No, I'd do it like this. No, uh, Sam, do it. Sardines? Definitely. No, I'll hide first. You count. OK. No, you're doing it. Come on, let Jay. Let me show you how it's done. Whoa. Yes. How about some lettuce, Eddie? Hi, Maggie. We're playing sardines. I need to hide. Any ideas? Oh, I don't know. Maybe behind the pig pen? OK, thanks. And that's the last burger. Whoa, OK. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> thanks for all your hard work. But, um, oh, don't you think it's a bit big? Oh, I see what you mean. After all, we don't want to burn Shane's beautiful burgers. <laughs> but we can keep it, can't we? <sighs> OK, we'll take it down a bit. I told you it was too big. No, Eddie! Clear off! You give my hiding place away! <sighs> I'll have to find somewhere else to hide now. Hello, everyone! Oh, bravo! The barbecue looks fantastic! Maggie, here's some more of the coffee grounds you asked for. Oh, brilliant! Thanks, Mama Polenta. Tell me, Maggie, I'm curious. What are you using them for? Come on, I'll show you. Look, in here. I've been using your coffee grounds to grow these. Oh, Mamma mia! Oyster mushrooms. Yep, I read that you can grow them using coffee grounds. And it's worked a treat. <laughs> oh, well, I never. I know. <laughs> Come on, let's go and see if the barbecue's ready. Oh, I must remember to oil these hinges. The door keeps sticking. <laughs> I'll prop it open. OK, let's go. Aha! Perfect. 98, 99, 100. Mario, we're coming to find you. Oh. 
Whoa! No, he's not here. Not here? Seriously? Huh? Uh, there you are. Shh! Quickly, get in. What's that? Shh! Hmm. Got you! Aw. Polly, you've got toys as well. <laughs> I can hear you. Found you. Whoa, whoa, Eddie, come on, down, Eddie, down. Hiya. <laughs> Want me to help with the salad, Maggie? Of course. It's all here, freshly picked. Great. Let's get started. <laughs> it won't budge. Look, a torch. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow, what are those? Aliens! Monsters! Don't panic. I think they're oyster mushrooms. I don't care what they are. I just want to get out of here. It smells mouldy. Let us out! There we go. Great barbecue temperature. That'll be the hickory wood. Don't you mean oak? Help! Get us out of here! I'm starving! Shh. Listen, did you hear that? I think it was Eddie. Eddie? Eddie! <laughs> Has anyone seen Mario? I can't find him. It's not like him to miss Shane's burgers. And is he? Oh, now that you mention it, where's Eddie? Sizzling saucepans and the burgers have gone. <gasps> no burgers? Something strange is going on. Let's find the kids first. Hmm. All right. Mario! Jay! Honey! Where are you? Is he? Oh, Boy. no. Any luck? No. Sorry. Ah. How did a burger get there? Oh, I think I might know the culprit. Oh, here's another one. Quick, follow them. <laughs> I knew it! It's my Eddie. He loves burgers. But where's Mario? Help! 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 We're stuck here! We're stuck here! We're stuck inside here! Help! Yay! Thank you for rescuing us, Dad. Yes. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> well, don't thank me. Thank Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Have we missed a barbecue? Oh, sorry, Mario. There's no burgers left. <gasps> Eddie may have spoiled the barbecue by taking the burgers, but he saved the day by rescuing the children. What were you all doing in there anyway? Paying sardines. Wow! Oyster mushrooms. Maybe there is a way we can have burgers after all. So, we have the mushrooms, the breadcrumbs, the onions, herbs and eggs. Are you ready, Izzy? Let's, Let's get, get cooking! cooking. Mushroom burgers all round. Tuck in. Mm. 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 Yummy. I'm not sure about this. Um, um. Not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Shane, have you got another? Two is rather a lot, though, Mario. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for my rescue dog. Here you go. Here you go, Eddie. <laughs> Mind you, I think Eddie's had plenty of burgers today. <laughs> Let's get cooking with Shane the Chef. Shane the Chef lives by the sea. In his restaurant with Izzy. Cooking up new recipes. Come on in, try and out see. Basic, the scary, gadgets on the way.
Let's get cooking in Tuck Tuck Trouble. With Shay the Chef. What a sight for an old sea dog's eyes. A fine catch if ever I saw one. Eddie? Charlie, leave my fish alone. Whoa there, Eddie. Down, boy. God, stop it, you do. Eddie, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> there you are, Dad. Are you planning tonight's menu? Yes, I am. We're having something really exciting. Ooh, what is it? Well, tonight, Izzy, we are having... <laughs> cabbages. Cabbages? They're not exciting. <laughs> no, trust me, Izzy. They will be exciting and delicious. Shoo! Shoo! You pesky seabird! Down, Eddie! <laughs> right then, Maggie will be here any minute with the cabbages. I'd better get the kitchen ready. Eddie, you're making it worse. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh dear. This doesn't feel right. Problems, Maggie? I think it's the brakes, JG. They're just not working properly. Would you like me to take a look? I've been known to tinker with a tuck duck from time to time. It probably just needs a tweak. Oh, thanks, JG. That'd be a big help. Now then, let's see what we've got. Hmm, all right. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Is it the brake discs? Maybe they're worn out. <laughs> Yes! Well, that's just what I was going to say. Oh, do you know, I might have some spares in my workshop somewhere. <laughs> I'll help you look for them. Eddie, Eddie, get out of Maggie's TikTok. Me, Tuck Tuck. <laughs> Lord, come back, Eddie! You don't know how to drive! Oh! Oh! oh, oh cabbages! Oh, cabbages! Oh, here comes Maggie with my cabbages. Hiya, Maggie! Oh. But... what? Eddie? Oh, stop that dog! What? Oh, no. Izzy! He won't stop! Dad, be careful! Out of the way, quick! Oh, no! Watch out! Oh! No! Oh, is that Shane? I think it might be. Oh, oh. The brakes! They aren't working, Shane! Yes, I know! Try applying the handbrake, Shane. That ought to do it. OK, got it, I've got it. Sizzling saucepan. Now what am I going to do? Uh-oh. We'll think of something. <laughs> Whoa. Look out! Eddie! Jolly! Whoa! What is that noise? Mamma mia! What is going on? Run away, Tuk Tuk Mamma Shane can't stop. What? Oh no! Hmm, I'm coming too. Don't go without me! Right, how do I stop this thing? Ah! Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. No! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, no! Whoa! I'm Whoa. back! Careful! Don't worry, I've got an idea. Good. What is it? You need to manually disengage the transmission. Manually, what the what? With this, it's quite simple. Well, I can't do that. I'm a chef, not a mechanic. Possibly a tad impractical. I'll think of something else. Look out! Ah! Whoa! Oh, I feel like cabbage soup. Did someone say something? Help me! Oh my! Oh! 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 Oh!
Yes! Oh, I'm sure I'm hearing things. Help! Oh, my! Calamity! Flying cabbages! Oh, what a waste! I've got an idea, Mama Polenta! Go left a bit! Hoop. Hooray! Got one! Hook now right! Hook. Maggie, you're saving the cabbages. How much fuel is in the tank? Oh, I just filled her up. I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, these Series 7s are remarkably fuel efficient. Shane could be going all night. JG! Shane! Hi, oh. Help, Maggie, help me! Oh, got it, I've got it. Oh, no! Oh, I have it. Slow down! Shane! Oh, my goodness! Oh. Ah! It's quiet in town today. <sighs> Let's make the most of it. Watch out! Oh, 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 Watch out! Whoa! Sizzling oh, so Dad! Oh, my goodness! No! Don't worry. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. There's that noise again. Where is it coming from? Has it stopped yet? Sam? You were in the back all along. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm sure everything will stop spinning eventually. You just take a moment. You've had quite a turn. Sam, what happened to all the cabbages? Well, they're all gone. They fell out of the back. Well, there goes tonight's menu. And to think that I thought cabbages weren't exciting. Ahem. <clears throat> Shane, did you want the cabbages? <laughs> we seem to have caught a few. <laughs> Mama Polenta, Maggie. Oh, what can I say? Um, what about Maggie's tuk-tuk? Yeah, we can't leave it there. Now, all together, everyone. One, two, three, four. Here Ooh. we go. Hooray! Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Now, who's hungry? Oh, yes, Please. it is. <laughs> What do we need, Dad? A cake we need onion, garlic, tomato, kidney beans, carrot, celery and spices. Oh, and lots and lots of cabbage leaves. So, let's get cooking. Job done. Back of the oven. Yay! I was hit on the head again and again by tumbling cabbages. It reminds me of the time when I was trapped in a runaway tuk-tuk full of cabbages. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is that time. Well, I can tell you now, I'll never look at another cabbage ever again. Can't bear the sight of them. So, who's for cabbage leaves stuffed with vegetarian chilli? Me, me, me. Yum. I thought you couldn't look at another cabbage. Oh, yes. I'll start that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking with Shane the Chef. Shane the Chef lives by the sea. In his restaurant with Izzy. Cooking up new recipes. Come on in.
Let's get cooking in Potato Day. With Shay the Chef. How about this? Today's menu, cod fillets with lemon, garlic and thyme crust, served with minty mushy peas. Uh, uh, nope. Roast pumpkins. Did that last week. Glass noodles with shiitake mushrooms. Oh, sizzling saucepans, I don't know. Maybe today's dish should be something really simple. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah, Ooh. Honey! Oh, sorry. Actually, you're just the person I need. Can you help me? You see, I'm entered in the school speech competition and, of course, I drew the short straw. What's your subject? The potato. Ah, uh, the good old spud. We use potatoes a lot in the restaurant. I looked up all sorts of stuff about it, like... It grows underground, like it's got lots of vitamins and minerals and stuff. And get this, it was the first vegetable to be grown in space. There are so many things you can do with potatoes. You can bake them, roast them, boil them. Shane, you know more about potatoes than anyone I know. Can I practice my speech on you? Sure you can. That would be potato-tastic. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the potato is Hiya. a... Oh, oh uh, could, could you give me a hand here? Hiya, Maggie. Here you are, let me help. Oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Shane. What are you all up to? Honey was just practising her speech about potatoes. She's giving a talk at school. Oh, great. Let's hear it, honey. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh. groceries! More groceries. Honey was just about to practice her potato speech. Oh, potatoes? <laughs> How interesting. Let's see what you got. OK, um... The mighty potato. First cultivated over 8,000 years ago in ancient Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Peru? That's funny. It's not a joke. They really did come from Peru. Oh, um... That's very interesting. The... the mighty... <laughs> um... There's potatoes mashed, um, uh... Honey, you all right? It's just you're all looking at me. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and, uh, uh I can't remember what I was going to say. Then how are you going to remember for the competition at school? I don't know. Well, I can help. You've just got to trust your subject. Mario, throw me that potato. The mighty potato, king of food. Throw me another one. They're easy to grow, chock full with the good stuff, and they taste delicious. Throw me another. They're great to fry. You can cook them in a pie. You can slice them, you can dice them. Give them a try. Potatoes are great cooked any old way. So let's hear it for Bada -ba -dum, Potato Day. Yay! Yay Shane! Potato Day. Hooray <laughs> for potatoes! Woo! Oh, no. Uh, honey, come on. Mama Polenta, this idea of Potato Day seems to One, be quite popular. Two, it's given me an idea. Three. Do you think Honey would like a potato costume for her speech, or is that a bit weird? It would make her stand out in the competition. Yes, why not? Let's do it. It will be a lovely surprise for her. <laughs> Whoa! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I've never been nervous like that before. It must be because everyone's staring at me. Well, there's nobody here now. Why don't you do your speech just for me and my camera? That way, you can watch it back and see how great you really are. That sounds good. Thanks, Izzy. I'll give it a go. OK, just let me get you in the picture. Action. The potato, it's really super and it tastes so good. What's all this? I'm filming, honey. Yes, the potato. Oh, I love potatoes, me. Loved by all sorts of people. <laughs> Maybe not dogs. <coughs> and um, birds might like potatoes too. <coughs> <sighs> this isn't really working, is it? Look, Mama Polenta, I used backstitch here. You think that'd be strong enough? Backstitch, eh? I knew you were a great cook, but I never knew you were great at sewing. 
Well, Izzy's mum taught me. Now I'll just put in some padding. Ooh! How does it look? Like a potato! All right, honey. We're all alone. It's nice and quiet. Nobody to distract you. Let's give that speech another go. OK. The potato, it's more than just a delicious food. It's a bit of history. First cultivated over 8,000 years ago, this amazing... Honey! Uh, oh. There she is! Oh, we've been looking for you everywhere. We've got you a surprise. We made you a costume for your potato speech. Isn't it great? Um, I don't... Let me try this on you. You are going to look awesome. There we go, over the head. I get your arm in there. I'm not sure if Honey needs a costume. Oh, Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> What is that? A potato. <laughs> really? <laughs> Look at Honey. <laughs> Are you dressed as a potato? Uh... Oh, marvellous. Oh. oh, good idea. I should video this for the Shane the Chef channel. Ah! <laughs> is that part of the film? Um... I am really sorry, Honey. I guess it was all a bit much. You think? Yes, yes, I know, I'm sorry. I just thought the potato suit would help your confidence. We'll get there. We just need to try again. I've got a better idea. Yeah? yeah? I'm going to quit. No. Oh, no. Yes, I just can't speak in front of people. I get too nervous. There. Now that I've made up my mind, I feel much better. But, honey... No, Izzy. Quitting is the right decision. I'm sure of it. It's weird. When Honey is singing, she doesn't seem nervous at all. That's it. Honey, I've got the answer. You just need to sing the potato stuff. Really? Yeah, give it a try. OK, um... Gotta get me a spot as quick as I am able. Potatoes are my favourite, a root vegetable. Oh, that's great. More, more. Potatoes are nutritious, delicious through and through. I really love them and I know so will you. Potatoes come in jackets, they're just so good looking. Wow. That's it, honey. That's my menu. Jacket potatoes with fillings. So, we've got tuna and sweet corn, beans and cheese, prawns, mayonnaise and, of course, potatoes. So, let's get cooking! Potatoes back of the oven. Say cheese and, and beans. beans. Enjoy our first annual potato day, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Attention, everyone. May I introduce Honey, who will mark Potato Day with a special song. Go on, yeah. Honey. Here we go. Um. Go on, oh. honey. Oh, fantastic. Awesome. Hooray. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Uh... Yes, honey. Come on, honey. You can do it. OK. You can slice it, you can dice it, you can give it a roast. With beans and cheese, it's how I like it the most. Well Wonderful. Done. Oh, I love the potato when I'm happy to explain. She is smashing it, is he? No, she's mashing it. I owe it all to my friends, Izzy and Shane. Woo! <laughs> That's my girl.
Working in Missing Mum. With Shay the Chef. How are you doing laying the tables, Izzy? You're usually done by now. Izzy? Oh, I see. Mum used to lay the tables every morning. I know, it's tough without her. But we're doing OK, aren't we? It was Mum that got me interested in cooking. Remember when she let me help make stuffed peppers? I remember. You stuffed them with garlic, tomatoes and anchovies. You wouldn't eat anything else for weeks. <laughs> Morning, Shane. Morning, Izzy. Shane? Izzy? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Right, Izzy? Oh. oh. Remembering Mum. Yeah. Oh. Garlic, tomatoes. Everything looks great. Uh, no red peppers. There are some in the greenhouse that might be ready. Oh, are you sure you're OK, Izzy? I'm OK. Yeah, she's been spending too much time helping me in the kitchen. What she needs is some girl time. Tell you what, why don't you two girls have a day in town? I'll take care of things on the farm. What do you know about farming? Uh, I run a very busy restaurant. I'm sure I can look after the farm for a day. Well, if you're sure. There are only three things that need to be done today. Uh, feed the animals, collect the eggs, water the crops. And pick the red peppers. So, Izzy, up for some fun? You bet. Bye, Dad. Bye, you two. Morning, Shane. I've got a good catch for you today. Ooh, what have you got there? Izzy and Maggie are having a girl's day out. So, I'm going to do the jobs on the farm. Well, if you need a hand, just give me a call. I don't know if I ever told you, but back when I was just a cabin boy, my crew got shipwrecked on an island. Deserted it was, apart from a herd of a thousand goats. We had to learn how to look after them pretty quick, or they'd have eaten all our supplies. Oh, Shane, I saw Izzy. Is everything OK? Yeah, she's fine. She's going to spend the day with Maggie. Shane's going to look after the farm. I said you should call me if he needs a hand. I grew up on a farm in Tuscany. Maybe I can help. I'm sure I'll manage. See you later. Hmm. Right, let's take a look at that list. Hey? Hey, what you doing? Give that back. Hey, come back to that list. Let's go shopping first. <laughs> OK. Worried about your dad? A bit. I'm not, so you shouldn't be. <laughs> I only need him to do three simple things. He'll be fine. Billy! Stop! <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh! Ah! Whoa! What's the... Ah! Whoa! I've got some great stuff. Thanks, Maggie. Me too. <laughs> What's next? Uh, ice cream? Millie, stop! Or at least slow down! You! <laughs> Where did they come from? <laughs> Aha! There you go! Two strawberry ice creams. Thanks, Mum and Polenta. Your strawberry ice cream's the best. Oh, it's a pleasure, Izzy. I wonder, have you heard from Shane? No, but I'm sure everything's fine. Aha! See? You're not going anywhere until you give me that list. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> Sizzling saucepans! Oh no, you would! You would! Ah! 
<laughs> oh, not you as well. <laughs> No need to mope as you coil your rope. You got them. Sam! Have you seen Shane? No, but I'm sure he's fine. Oh, yes, me too. Uh, uh, I'll get my hat. Shane! Are you there? We wondered if you needed a little help with the... Oh! <laughs> I think we should take that as a yes, don't you? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. huh? Huh? So you do move. <laughs> of course. I forgot you're called Puccini because you love opera. I'll call you right back. I'm just a pushing a pig. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Mama Polenta. I don't think I could have done that on my own. <sighs> no problem, Shane. What else have you got to do? I'm not sure. Millie ate Maggie's list. And I can't just pick the red peppers and go. Uh... <laughs> That's it. Collect the eggs. I think we should collect the chickens first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. You ready, Izzy? Here we go. One. Two, three! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Don't let go, Izzy! <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> right! Well done. What was next on the list? Uh. Ah, feed the animals. <laughs> I'm sure there was something else. Forget your holes as you coil your holes. Oh! No! That's it. Water the crops. I'm on it, Shane. Great. Right. All I need to do now is pick Maggie's biggest, ripest red peppers. Wow, look at these. Delicious. Right. So, I've got anchovies, some cooked rice, tomatoes, and, of course, red peppers. So, let's get cooking. <laughs> Back of the oven. Hi there, Shane. Chores done. Everything ship shape. Oh, brilliant. Dad, we're back. Wow. Well, you two look like you had fun. We did. Your idea of a girl's day out was brilliant. Mmm, something smells good. Mmm, roasted red peppers. Well, we hadn't had them for a while. And as I was going to be looking after the farm, how did that go? Any problems? Um. Shane was just telling us. No problems at all. <laughs> right, Shane? Uh, yeah, no problems. <gasps> Tell you what, roasted red peppers coming right up. So, Izzy, what do you think? They're really good, Dad. Almost as good as Mom's. I bought this to say thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. That's lovely, Izzy. She's quite a girl, our Izzy. You'd be so proud. 